There are all kinds of Web2 projects out there, good ones, that are making the conscious decision to now begin migrating into Web3. But that's easier said than done because there are all kinds of differences between Web2 uh, and Web3. Just as one example, one big difference is the decentralized character of Web3. Creators have much more say over their work, and then we, in turn, as users, also have more control over what kind of personal information we want to share. And so projects making that choice to switch from Web 2 to Web 3 face plenty of challenges. And more and more Web 2 firms are ready to make the transition. There's a lot of enthusiasm there, but those challenges still exist. This is an endeavor that takes solid planning, excellent coordination, and expert knowledge of the Web3 space to be successful. And all of this is precisely what Morpheus Labs offers. They are making that transition from Web2 to Web3 easier for all kinds of companies. Let's take a look at how they do it. Welcome to the channel. My name is Maddie, and this is Altcoin Buzz. Best of luck, as always, if you choose to invest. I wish you well, and I'm authentic when I say that, but whatever, because I'm not a financial or investment advisor, and by extension, just want you to remember that this video is not official financial or investment advice. Morpheus Labs offers all the tools for a smooth transition from Web 2 to Web 3. It's a platform that also uses AI to optimize its performance and its services. They offer all kinds of tools. Some of them, for instance, include low code, meaning there's no need to know advanced coding, a multi-chain infrastructure, meaning that Morpheus Labs offers its services across all kinds of various chains, automation in the form of an AI-powered workflow studio, as well as an AI-powered smart contract studio. Plus, there's also a collaborative development environment, a CDE, that enables multiple individuals or teams to work together on a specific project. This basically is a structure that helps to streamline the development process, and it also increases the efficiency of Web3 development. And in addition, it also allows for external developers to contribute from any part of the world. And Morpheus Labs also offers template solutions. These are pre-built templates specifically for Web3 dApps. Now, Morpheus already works in various crypto sectors. Uh, the metaverse is one example with JP Games, and this suits the hospitality and gaming spaces, obviously. But they also occupy the gamification space with Tencent for gaming, education, even e-learning. They also have NFT-enabled solutions with Huawei Cloud for RWA, that's real-world assets like property or ticketing agencies. E-commerce with Alibaba Cloud for fashion or food and beverage industries. Digital assets with Bank Group, so this pertains to finance, banks, real estate, gaming. And education in Web3 with Philip Capital, this is for hackathons, workshops, or really any educational firm. So really this all goes to show the versatility that Morpheus Labs has on offer right now. Their tools and their solutions fit into all kinds of industries and various verticals. But don't let the name fool you because yes, they have labs in their name, Morpheus Labs. They are not an incubator, but the team does in fact work with incubators and they can secure grants. All right, so let's talk a little bit about how Morpheus Labs work because from what I'm saying so far, it may sound a little bit mysterious, but that is not the case. And to give you a better understanding of exactly what they offer, just think of this. Let's take a look at other low-code platforms, which by the way, are easy to find. So for instance, you may be familiar with Bubble, Softer, Webflow, WordPress, or even Wix. They all offer app or website building. However, they're all Web2 platforms. So give or take, they all work in more or less the same way. You may have a favorite among them, but they are similar. The idea is that they offer building blocks, which then allow you to build a website and add additional content. You can also add other elements to mix and match what you want, uh, included in the front or the back end, for example. But the point is there is currently no available Web3 alternative for them. And that's despite the fact that everything Web3 is digitally native. And that is exactly where Morpheus Labs offers tools that work in a Web3 environment. The same situation arises if I look at automation. Take Zapier, for example, or really any one of its alternatives for that matter. They all connect web apps and services, all automated. But again, why is there no Web3 alternative? That's exactly where Morpheus Labs has an edge because Morpheus offers a suite of tools that fill this specific gap. For example, with ML Seed, that's a blockchain platform as a service. It allows you to build your own blockchain with everything you need around it. Or how about Morpheus Labs being the potential Web3 version of Zapier? 
Morpheus offers coin creation, smart contracts, audits, introduction to CoinGecko, and websites, which are features that help to provide the smoothest transition possible to Web3 integration. And it offers this in an easy to use environment, right? Hence the low code. It's an all-in-one automated convenience powered by artificial intelligence. Kind of like an out-of-the-box approach, actually. It's ready to use and easy to deploy. You develop, you test, you deploy, you run, and then you scale it. All conveniently located in one single console. Everyone in Web2 is aggressively eyeing Web3 right now. Uh, this is not a revelatory statement. And Morpheus Labs makes that transition possible. There is a ton of interest and demand here. And by extension, the potential that Morpheus Labs has here is very significant. So Morpheus Labs has a couple of events that are upcoming that we should mention here. First of all, there's an ambassador program. We can expect this around mid to late March. More details, of course, are going to follow. And then there's also going to be a live event on the 15th of March in Singapore. The next frontier, unlocking digital potential with AI, Web3, and collaborative innovation. The event is in the Sofitel in Singapore. If you're in the area, you may want to check that out. I'll include a link, by the way, to uh, this information in the description below. But this is an event dedicated to exploring the intersection of AI, Web3, and collaborative innovation. And its focus is on, as per the title, unlocking digital potential and driving forward-thinking solutions in our rapidly evolving digital landscape. And then on KuCoin, there's a big trading event that just finished where you could earn a slice of the $10,000 in mind, M-I-N-D. But in case you missed this one, there's no need to worry because this is a recurring event, which means you will get another chance. Speaking of the mind token, it first went by the name of M-I-T-X, but the team actually increased its services. And now the new mind token, M-I-N-D, is multi-layered. So the current price of mind sits at 0.5328 cents or said differently, $0.0053, with a very modest market cap of just under $5.6 million. There's a max and total supply of 2.1 billion mined. Of these, 1.05 billion mined tokens are currently in circulation. It's a very small, and for that reason, appealing market cap, at least as I see it. Over the last 30 days here, let's zoom out, the token is up by about 165%. And besides KuCoin, Mind is also listed at MEXC and QuickSwap. Let me know what you guys think about this mass migration that's happening right now. Services that are migrating from Web 2 to Web 3. And whether or not you're excited about some of these services that Morpheus Labs offers. Maybe you could avail yourself of them or your business could benefit. Let me know in the comments below.